My name is Zach Lieberman. I'm an artist based in New York. And I first started experimenting with augmented reality in the early 2000s. And at that time, you would use these markers and you would, it was quite, quite complicated and, um, and re have recently been experimenting with augmented reality on devices. One thing that I have found really exciting is using LiDAR as a way of understanding where elements in the world are. So one of the things about augmented reality, you can understand where the, the camera is, where the phone is, but it's, it becomes really intriguing to try to understand where elements in the world are because you can use them to occlude. You can even make things based on them. So for example, Lens Studio is making a mesh and then I'm distorting the colors on that mesh. So as I wave my phone around, I'm building a 3D model of the world and I can manipulate the colors on those vertices of that model. So it's a kind of a live 3D model being being built in real time. And for me, that's really exciting. Um, or doing things like finding, um, casting off rays and figuring out, you know, where is the intersection with that model and spawning graphics. So here I have these emojis that pop up on the floor, on the walls, on the ceiling. And as you wave your device around, you're kind of filling the world with content. And these graphics, these, these images are occluded. And so they really feel like they're living, you know, in part of the kind of the same universe um, with, with everything else. We're moving towards more embodied computation. So whether it's, you know, things in our ears, glasses that we're wearing, and, and I think it's quite interesting to consider, you know, what, what does augmented reality look like, you know, as we are wearing it, as we're living it. You know, right now we're, we, we use AR with phones, with devices, and we, we tell stories with them and we communicate with them. Um, but I'm really excited about kind of what it would feel like to be living in uh, augmented reality. I would love to do more exploration with sound. So I really feel like a lot of the most amazing work that people are doing is in with um, with visual form where you're, you know, you're just seeing really great exploration within the community of people just making filters and all kinds of visual ideas, really transforming the world around them. But I still feel like sound is, a, is an unexplored territory for AR. So for me, I'm excited to make more sound-based AR. I'm, I'm really interested in, um, and kind of new ways of sensing the world. So something like LiDAR, that is a new sensor that allows us to understand the world in a new way. And for me, that's exciting. So I, when those technologies are, are introduced, it is, I think it's really important for artists and designers to be there telling a story about them, showing the creative potential and really pushing them um, to the outer limits. I always say the same thing, which is three, three words of advice, experiment, experiment, experiment. I really feel like the best thing that you can do is make work. Also find a community. So I really, you know, have um, enjoyed the Lens Studio creator community. And I think there's something really beautiful of, about finding a group of people that you can ask questions to and share ideas and share resources. So I think these tools are one thing, but it's the community around the tools that bring a lot of value and energy. So I would say, you know, find, find the community that you feel is really welcoming and ask questions and get involved and share, share ideas and and learn and you know I always feel like that you start asking questions asking questions and pretty soon you're answering questions and that to me there's something really beautiful about that the first is audio this is recording audio in the air and then when you walk through it the audio replays this is taking colors that are around you in the world and painting with them. So grabbing pixels from the world and using them almost as a kind of paintbrush. To me, there's something really beautiful about trying to figure out how we can use, understand things in the world. This is um, copying the body. So taking the body 
and cutting it into um, segmenting it and painting it multiple times. More segmentation of the body. And uh, this is my partner, Momo Kuo, and we work together doing all sorts of experiments, um, trying to find almost kind of new forms of, uh, of portraiture and um, new forms of expression. This is um, cutting up pieces. So almost thinking of the world like you can um, make a collage with photographs of elements in the world. This is taking your body and painting trails. So as you move your hand in space, you're building a kind of 3D form. This is taking the body and attaching springy objects to it. So thinking about your gestures and your movement and how you can really like amplify them by attaching things, virtual things to your body. Um, and that's it. So super excited to be part of this event and um, and, and really thankful to um, be talking to you today. Okay, thanks.